Hello Clingers! My name is Bryce of Omni and Bryce and together with our kids we are hashtag the Klingy Fam. Welcome to another School of Vlogging episode. For today's video, I'll be sharing with you the whole process kung paano ko nga ba edit yung mga vlogs namin. And to those asking, School of Vlogging basically is a series of workshops that we do in collaboration with Mommy Ruth. Go ahead and check out her channel. She got awesome videos recently. She just shared kung magkano nga ba yung kinikita niya sa pag-YouTube as in, in detail. Let's stay connected. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Omni and Bryce. We do family vlogs, a lot of uh, fun and quirky vids with our kids. But for today, as I mentioned kanina, I'll be sharing with you paano nga ba ako nag edit ng vlogs. But before we proceed with that, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell para updated kayo whenever we have a new video. So let me walk you through the whole process of how I edit our vlogs using PowerDirector app. I actually got this app for only 300 pesos 2 years ago pero recently I think nagbago siya ng plans and they are now offering different subscription packages. Okay, so since this is gonna be a whole process, let's start by tapping on new project. So what works for me is that sa simula pa lang na pag edit nilalagay ko na yung title ng vlog na naiisip ko. Which actually, I can change naman anytime later on. Another practice that I do is that pinagasama-sama ko na lahat ng videos o lahat ng clips na kailangan ko in one folder for the specific vlog that I'm going to edit. So if you would notice tong getting our family passport videos namin, December 18 of 2018 pa siya. So I just have to tap on that folder and then I will import all the videos that I need by tapping on the plus icon. Yan yung nagbo-blue. Depende yan sa'yo. Kung sobrang haba ng videos mo, you can choose to only import like siguro mga 5 to 10 clips. Pero since this one kasi na ini-edit ko is only like mga 30-minute video, ini-import ko na lahat ng minsanan. Pero kung sobrang haba ng clips na kailangan mong i-edit, I would recommend i-edit mo siya ng unti-unti sa ka mag-import ulit after you edit the first few clips that you have already imported. Then after ko mag-import ng mga videos, ang next na ginagawa ko is ina-adjust ko naman yung volume ng kada clips na meron ako. Just tap on the video, edit icon, and then volume. I put the volume sa maximum level para madali nang i-adjust if ever kailangan manghinaan. Mahirap kasi yung na-trim mo na lahat ng videos na cut mo na siya sa kamo isa-isang i-adjust pa. So after ko i-adjust lahat ng volume ng videos, that's when I start uh, doing the trimming okay, or cutting of the clips. Pero para magawa ko siya, I have to adjust the videos or I have to pinch. So kung may gusto akong tanggalin na part ng video, I tap on the play icon. So magkiplay yung video. Pag nakita ko na yung part na gusto kong tanggalin, I tap on the video and then I tap on the slice tool. And just like that, makikita mo na nag-split na yung clip na gusto mong i-edit. So ngayon, pwede ko na tanggalin yung part ng video na iyoko by tapping on it and then I tap on the delete icon. So yun lang, uulitin mo lang yung process na yun until matrim down mo na yung buong videos or yung, yung buong vlog dun sa length na gusto mo or until matanggal mo na lahat ng clips sa tingin mo, hindi naman necessary for your vlog. Heto pala guys, habang nag edit ako, nakita ko itong Baby Zen stroller namin. Itong Baby Zen actually, isa to sa mga naging pinaka-favorite namin na brand collaboration. I'm mentioning about this kasi during our School of Vlogging workshops, tinuturo din namin sa mga uh, vloggers or aspiring vloggers kung paano nga ba sila makakapag-work with the brands that they like to work with. Ito rin yung tinatawag nating sponsored vlog. So if you're interested to know more about that, just check out the link at the description box of this video and I hope we would see you on our workshops. This time, tapos na ako mag-trim ng mga clips, guys. And from 30 minutes na video clips kanina, ngayon mga 19 minutes and 13 seconds na lang. Pero ako kasi usually, hindi pa ako happy sa round 1 na pag-trim. Usually, lagi ako may round 2 as long as may oras pa. Mas gusto ko, mas pinapaikli pa yung video. Since dalawang araw actually itong film namin na vlog na to, although hindi naman whole day, I decided na gawin ko na lang backstory yung nangyari ng first day. So, ang pwede mong gawin is just tap on the video that you would like to drag. Okay, in this case, since mahaba-haba yung uh, 
yung backstory na gusto kong ilipat, ang ilipat ko lang yung clips from the second day. So, kumbaga, naka-sandwich, guys, yung uh, backstory. So, just tap on the video and then drag it dun sa location na gusto mo. So, yan, nailipat ko na lahat ng clips na kailangan kong ilipat. Another thing that I do pala, guys, is that gumagamit ako ng text kapag may mga gusto akong emphasize na message na hindi ko nasabi sa video or kaya naman gusto ko lang mag-add ng comic relief. Like, kung for example, yung parang binabasa ko yung gusto sabihin ng viewers in response sa sinabi ko sa video. So, I just tap on the layer icon and then I tap on the text icon. Tapos, lalabas na yung options mo para dun sa style ng title or ng text na gusto mo. So, I just tap on the style that I would like to use and then, pwede ko na siyang i-edit gamit yung text na gusto kong ilagay or yung any message na gusto kong ilagay. Like for this part, yan, nabanggit ko si Lord. So, ang nilalagay ko is, nadamay pa si Lord. Kung gusto mo naman i-edit yung um, style ng text, just tap on the text. Pwede mong palitan yung font style, pwede mong palitan yung kulay, yung size. Kung gusto mong lagyan ng stroke o yung outline, pwede rin naman. Kung mapansin nyo, nagalagay din ako ng mga pop-outs na mga icon. Like yun, yung kamay na nagdarasal. Nilagay ko siya to add a comic relief dun sa sinasabi ko. And then, syempre, para mas may buhay, alam mo naman ang Pinoy, gusto natin merong sound effects. <laughs> so, lagyan natin ang sound effects to. Ayun pala, for some, syempre, sobrang importante ito yung paglalagay ng subscribe icon. So, actually, for any element that you would like to add, you just click or tap on the layer icon. So, in this case, we're adding another video. So, just press or tap on the video. In my case, meron ako mga pre-downloaded videos or clips na ginagamit ko sa mga vlogs ko. Then, iuusog mo lang uh, by dragging. Just tap on the item or the element. So, kung mapansin nyo, itong layer na ginagamit ko, itong subscribe layer, meron siyang green background. na chroma key siya actually. So, tatanggalin natin yung green background by tapping on the edit icon. Tap on the chroma key. And then, tap mo lang yung dropper. So, piliin mo lang tap on the color na gusto mong tanggalin. In this case, yung kulay green. And then, just like that, wala na yung green background. So, let's see. Tapos, isa pa sa mga elements or layers na ginagamit ko on our vlogs are the social media icons or badges. Siyempre, this is to encourage your viewers to follow you on your social media accounts. Like in this case, we encourage our viewers to follow us on Facebook and also on Instagram. So, meron na akong mga preloaded materials para dyan. So, just tap on the materials or the elements that you'd like to add and then... Just like that, ma-add na siya dun sa timeline mo. You can adjust the size, you can do anything with that element just by tapping dun mismo sa element na gusto mong ayusin. So in this case, ina-adjust ko yung size, tinatanggal ko yung pag-fade out niya kasi hindi mo necessary dahil mabilisan lang to. Inuusog ko siya dun sa location ng screen na gusto ko or sa part ng screen na gusto kong mag-appear siya. And syempre, gusto ko nakasync siya dun sa time na sinasabi ko yung social media account namin. So, pwede mong i-trim, pwede mong paikliin, and then, nagapatong ako ng sound effects para ma-emphasize siya kapag lumabas na. Isa rin pala sa mga styles ko sa pag-vlog, guys, is that, or sa pag-i-edit ng vlogs naman, is that, kapag may mga part or mga moments na disappointing, syempre, hindi naman laging, mas hindi naman laging masaya, di ba, yung mga nangyayari. Pinapalike ko yung part na yun para, di ba, positive pa rin. So, you tap on the video. Then, gusto mo lagyan ng effect. <laughs> Tapos, pwede mo rin i-change yung color kung gusto mo. Pwede, yes, pwede ka mag-color grading sa Power Director. So, dahil dramatic ito, gawin natin siyang black and white. And then also, sabi ko nga kayo na pwede mo siyang gawa ng pan and zoom. So, itong nasa left side ng screen ay eh, yung start position. Yung nasa right side, siya naman yung end position. Tapos, syempre, halagyan na ulit natin ng sound effects to, or ng sound effect ito, uh, by tapping on the music icon, uh, and then you choose the sound effect that you would like to use. Syempre, dito medyo madrama ng konti, pero nakakatawa yung dating niya. Kung gusto mo mas dramatic pa, pwede mong gawa ng slow-mo. 
just tap on the video that you'd like to use or to to edit tap on the speed icon then pwede mo nang i-adjust depende sa bilis or bagal na gusto mo so check natin kung nag-work ayan uh, another thing that I do pala guys is that kapag mayroon akong hindi nasabi sa video na tingin ko importante kailangan ka masabi sa viewers naglalagay ako ng extra clip in between para ka lang ulit mag import ng video uh, so just tap on the music icon pero in this case I decided na plain black image na lang so I tap on the picture icon and then pwede ka na mamili ng iba't ibang kulay but for this I'll use black tapos as usual i-drag mo siya ulit dun sa position kung saan mo siya gusto kong ilagay tapos to add text naturo ko na to kanina actually just tap on the layer icon tapos pili ka lang ulit ng style na gusto mo tap on it and then pwede mo nang ilagay yung kung anong gusto mong ilagay na message and then just tap on the check icon para mailagay mo na yung text dun sa timeline so para lumaki or lumiit yung font kailangan mo lang siyang i-pinch Kung gusto mo namang centered talaga yung text mo or yung message, just tap on the edit icon and then text designer and choose to itong dalawang nag-blue. Ayan. Okay, so tapos na ako magpatong ng mga sound effects, text, uh, images, at kung ano pa mga layers. This time, ilalagay ko naman na yung image para dun sa end screen. So, paano maglagay ng image? Just tap on the media or music icon. And then, dahil nga image lang to, just tap on the picture icon and choose the material that you need. Pero dahil end screen to, naka-fix kung saan nakalagay yung mga next at previous video, tinatanggal ko yung pan and zoom effect niya para hindi siya nag-move. Tapos, ina-adjust ko yung duration niya. Okay? To... 10 seconds. I forgot na ano yung reason exactly kung bakit 10 seconds pero sa pagkakaalam ko or pagkakatanda ko, 10 seconds talaga yung nare-recommend YouTube. Pwede mo rin pala siyang lagyan ng transition. Just tap dun sa, yan yung parang kidlat sa, uh, sa gitna ng dalawang videos or dalawang clips na gusto mo. And then, nalabas na yung mga iba't ibang options for the kind or style ng transition na gusto mo. And pwede mo rin i-adjust kung gano'ng kaikli or kabagal or kahaba yung transition. And then, syempre, niyalagyan ko din siya ng backup music. Ito yung parang national anthem ng The Klingy Fam Vlogs namin. Yung positive rock music. So, there, I'm almost done. Pero ako kasi, ang ginagawa ako, bago ko siya i-produce talaga or sa iba, ang tawag doon is i-render, binuview ko muna ng buo yung video. So, so, I just tap on this icon and then tap on the play icon. And just like that, tapos ko na siyang reviewin. Another challenge also with Power Director is that if in case gusto mo mag-add ulit ng mga elements after mo siyang i-review, mag a adjust yung ibang elements niya. So, may as well, kung hindi naman taga sobrang kailangan yung element na gusto mo inagdag, wag na lang. O kaya, another thing that you can do is i-produce mo muna yung video or i-render, saka mo siya i-edit ulit para patungan ng another elements or layers. So since okay na siya, just tap on the back icon and then I can now start um, rendering or producing the video. By the way, let's check ko na kailang oras na ako sa pag edit I started mga roughly 12.30 and this time it's now 4.38 a.m. So mga roughly 4 hours. Normally, inaabot ako ng 8 hours sa pag edit ng isang video na mga roughly 16 minutes. Pero, since ito ay maikli lang, ayan, medyo mabilis. Given na nag-record pa ako or pa into into pa ako dahil na record ko tong pag edit ko for this tutorial. One thing pala that I like about Power Director is that hindi mo kailangan i-save from time to time. Automatic siya nag-save. Okay, but if in case you want to, just tap on this um, disk icon or save icon and mag-save na siya. And to finally produce or render the video, just tap on this icon yung katabi ng save. Usually sa pag-render, umaabot ako ng mga 30 minutes. Uh, mabilis lang siya compared sa paggamit ng laptop, I think. Uh, hindi na ako maabot ng 1 hour. So habang nag-render naman or nag-produce tayo ng video, Doon ko naman ginagawa yung thumbnail at iba pang mga kailangan sa pag-upload ng 
vlog like descriptions, title, tags, at kung ano-ano pa. So there you have it guys. I hope nakatulong yung video sa inyo. And if you have questions, suggestions, just comment down below. And also please share this to your friends who would like to try vlogging or who would like to learn more about editing their videos. And para mas ma-appreciate niyo yung inedit kong video guys, please watch it. I put the link here. And also panoorin niyo na rin yung mga iba pa naming family vlogs. So that's it. Once again, this is Bryce of Omni and Bryce. And together with our kids, we are hashtag the Clingy Fam. Always remember to cling on to your dreams because dreams do come true. So fade it till you make it. Bye-bye! Hello, Clingers! We are Omni and Bryce. Welcome to the School of Vlogging. We are here to help you create meaningful impact. We are heroes tonight.